Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Wives submit to your husbands, and I think if you if you just take that scripture, then and you just just that one verse, and you leave it at that, then it seems like that's it, end of story. But I think if you read the whole scripture in the context, it says, you know, and husbands, love your wives, as Christ loved the church. Now, how how did Christ <laughs> love the church? He, in my opinion, he came here humbly as a baby, and then living his life out as a carpenter, using his hands, inviting those to follow him, and showing them how to do it the right way. He came as a servant king, not a bossy king. Um, and I think that as, as what Jesus did, he laid his life down. He took the punishment that he didn't deserve onto himself, and he took our punishment, the whole world's punishment, onto him, and he laid his life down for the church, as if we lay our lives down and we serve ladies, if we serve our wives as Jesus did for the church, I think this world would be very different. How can someone enter a strong man's house and plunder his goods unless he first binds the strong man? Then indeed he may plunder his house. I feel that the attack on males in today's Christian societies, both in the church as well as in the secular world and nations that have been founded on Christianity. I think that this attack is done deliberately to bind up the strong man so that the enemy can get to those in society that he's wanting to get to. When Paul writes his letters, his two letters to Timothy, one of the things that he says is that the man that does not provide for his house is worse than an infidel, worse than an unbeliever. And provision, I think, sometimes we can think of as being food on the table. Cash, uh, yeah. bank, yeah. house, yeah. clothes. <laughs> but I think it's much more than that. I think it's also the provision of leadership, the provision of protection, to protect the family. Yeah. Um, the, 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 the father that is there to sacrifice himself. Most people would say, well, women are just as valuable as men. I would disagree. I would say, that women are more valuable. Why? Because it is required of the man to give his life for her preservation as well as for the preservation of the children. And I think that we are missing that a little bit with the role of a man to be the protector, to kind of keep the wolves at bay, to kind of keep the enemy from coming into those gates. There's been, I think with the deliberate feminization, there is a lack of guards now at the gates to keep the wolves at bay. The devil's plan and strategy is to destroy the family. Now, if God has put a man as a, the a father, as the patriarch, as a head over the household, okay, not to say that the mom doesn't have leadership, absolutely not. Uh, moms have leadership, they have equal responsibility as well, at the, but at the same time, uh, there's a different responsibility. You know, uh, I think at the end of the day, if you are working with different, different companies, it, it's different. It's complementary. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, and, and so you have this difference and they, uh, opposites attract. I, I know that the devil has a strategy. His strategy is to destroy me, to destroy my identity of who I am, who God created me to be. And he wants to twist who I am. He wants to twist my authority. And he wants to get my wife and I to be at each other's throats, to argue, to fight, to disagree with each other. God is wanting us to identify ourselves in him. And he's teaching us that through his word, through the Bible. That's why it's so imperative that every day we get into word to remind ourselves. It's not like I haven't read the Bible all the way through. I have multiple times. However, I, I like to get into it daily to remind me of what the game plan is, what the strategy is, because the world is attacking on the other side. The enemy, the Satan is attacking on the other side about who I am as a man. What is it to be a man? What is it to be a husband? What is it to be a dad? What is it to be a son? What is it to be a father? What is it to be a wife? What is it to be a daughter? What is it to be a sister? All these things are under attack. If Satan can destroy our families, if Satan can destroy the family system, then he's succeeded at exactly what God 
has put together, in my personal opinion. I believe that God created us to be fruitful and multiply.